Hello motherfuckers, welcome back to my motherfucking channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Ultra Violence by Lana Del Rey. I'm so excited about this. Yes, I am in my Lana era. Okay, we just finished the Beatles. Now we're in Lana. I'm ex in Lana? Ooh. <laughs> I'm excited, okay? I'm very excited about this. Um, you know, it's been a long time coming. So I have on my channel reacted to Born to Die, um, and Chemtrails Over the Country Club, and in my free time, I've heard Norman Rockwell. So there is a few albums that I'm missing that I haven't heard, and that's what we're going to be doing for the next couple weeks, okay? Um, I explained it in my Welcome to My Lana Del Rey era video that I just posted, um, so I'm really excited about this, okay? Let's get into it. But before I start, please make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I'm trying to build a little community over here, okay? Yeah. <laughs> but let's go. The first song on this album is called Cruel World. Let's go. I like this. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Now she has the Bible and the gun. for an intro that was good okay for an intro i'm gagged um you know and i really oh my god this came out in 2014 okay um you know to me 2014 had a certain sound of music very um generic pop sound um so this is refreshing i love this um it sounds timeless, so I'm gagged by it. The sentiment of the intro itself was really gagging, and like it kind of tells you where we're gonna go with this. She's speaking about a relationship that she's happy is over, because boy, you made her feel crazy. Um, and she okay, so she says she loves your heroin and your candy, or whatever. I I don't think she's talking about actual, you know, trigger warning heroin. But I think she's, you know, because people refer to that as just the the feeling they get from something or the feeling they get from you. So she loves the way you make her feel, but it's just not good for her. See, this is what I was talking about. When I said the music was toxic, I meant it, okay? When I say something, I fucking mean it, <laughs> okay? <laughs> when I say something, I mean it. That this is that's what it's giving to me. But overall, it is a very powerful um, intro. I love the vocals. The production was there. It was beautiful. This is starting up to be a very solid album. But let's keep going. The next song is the title track to this album. It's called Ultra Violence. Let's go. Oh my 
is so messy, but so good. Gag! Oh my! Okay. Mmm. So, okay, here we are back at the. I love when albums have stories, okay? We're back at this re toxic relationship that she's trying to get out of. Girl, what? You're his. He's your cult leader. Okay, first of all, she said, Jim raised me up. And when I heard Jim, first of all, Lana, to me, Lana gives um, cult vibes, anyways. Like, just the way, just the way her songs come off and stuff. I don't mean that as a diss. Um, you know, it sh it is what it is. But she even says it herself, which is just gag. He hit me and it felt like a kiss. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. That's crazy. But it's good okay um you know i really don't have much to say about that besides it is crazy she said he hit me and it felt like true love and just this stuff you know and it's just mm. you know i get it's good it's good i'm not even gonna complain it's really good it's just really like whoa toxic when every when somebody on twitter said that all lana del rey stands look like this I, you know, I, I I understood it um immediately just because of songs like this. But it was good nonetheless, okay? So just because it's toxic doesn't make it not good. Does that make sense? Um, I think it's really good. It's just really toxic. Um, and I feel like if you're the kind of person that is triggered easily, you shouldn't be listening to this. But if you are the kind of person that is triggered easily, but this is your, like, heroin just do it you know just just listen to the album it feels good but it's wild okay um but i'm gagged nonetheless okay let's keep going the next song is called shades of cool say it right now that's one of the best Lana Del Rey songs I've ever heard my god you know I always think when I listen back to music that is like my peers people my age were listening to at the time I'm always like where the fuck was I okay but I, then I remember you know I was listening my girl is my Lana Del Rey was Nicki Minaj okay Nikki and really that's really it um I didn't really spread out to music till like 2017 so this is like this is all new for me and I'm just dragging okay what the fuck those vocals there were some of her best 
vocals I've ever heard from her. She was just eating. You know, the way that she sings, it always, like, reminds me of just, like, I'm floating somewhere deep in the ocean, um... In a good way, okay, I mean, that can be, like, anxiety-inducing, but I, I feel it in a good way, okay? She reminds me of, like, a Disney princess, okay? Like, an Ariel vibe, okay? She is, she does give me Siren, like, a, a witch of the sea, <laughs> something like that, um, but it's a gag. It's truly a fucking gag. But she's saying, you are unfixable. She can't get through to your world and it's just it's it is it worth it you know it's a gag i love questions throughout music you know okay like i never never i don't know i'm gag you know because i am obsessed with norman rockwell that album to me is just so fucking good um so i can ex expect that from you know these other albums that i'm going to be listening to but Bitch. Gag. That was good. That was a gag. Okay, but the next song is called Brooklyn, baby. Okay, that was one of my favorite Lana songs, okay? From what everything I've heard, that was really good. You know, those drums for that beat really just pull you in and like swallow you whole. And then like you just don't know where you're about to go or what you're about to do. It's just a gag, okay? So that was a really fucking good song, okay? Is she from Brooklyn? Because the next song is called West Coast. Um, or does she just, you know, um feel like she's from Brooklyn because the vibe I get listening to Lana first of all getting high on hydroponic weed and feathers in your hair you feel like you're cooler than your boyfriend your jazz collections rare all this shit it just it for some reason I just because also she said in like either ultra violence or sage of cool that she could go back to Woodstock they could go back to Woodstock or whatever um, and that's what I get. I just get 70s free spirit vibes, okay? She doesn't give a fuck, okay? And that's why she sings what she sings, the way she sings. Getting hit and feeling it like it was a kiss. It was true love. Um, gag, you know? It's just it's just a freeing vibe, and I love it so much. This This music is really good, okay? Even though I do have this feeling that it's just a little toxic... It's still good, and I see why people are gagged by it and are obsessed with Lana. So, gag. That beat was just so intricate and so moving, okay? Once again, it just made me feel good, okay? Um, I'm gagging. Let's keep going. The next song is called West Coast.
really don't know what to... I'm just so lost for words with this album. But what I can say is that the feeling it's giving me... Have you guys ever heard of The Viper Room? God. I just feel like I'm in The Viper Room at like 4 a.m. If you don't know what The Viper Room is, it's this... It was this club back in the 90s. Um, that was on Sunset Boulevard, I'm pretty sure. It was somewhere in California, Hollywood area. Um, and I just feel like I'm in there. A couple people OD'd in there, okay? A couple stars, okay? Um, I just feel like I'm in there. It's 3 a.m., you know. Um, they're about to close soon, and I'm just high off something, okay? Tripping, Loki. And it's just, the, the music just has me going, okay? It's, it's such a blissful experience. Um, that's what it is. It's an experience. Listening to her music, I always say I love when music can make you visualize something, okay? Wherever your, like, mind takes you while you listen to these songs, it's just... It's just such a good feeling, um, even though it is a little toxic, like I keep saying. But this song in particular wasn't really toxic. It was more like, I'm in love, and I love watching my man dance and sway his body around. You got the music in you, you know? It's just, it's a good vibe. It's a good feeling. Um, I'm just, I'm obsessed, okay? And I don't think that this album can get any better. Honestly, I don't. But let's keep going. The next song is called Sad Girl. She brought up Bonnie in a song, um, I don't, I don't remember which song it was. I'm, I'm guessing this is just like her way of saying a thought or, you know, like his side piece. Okay, Bonnie on the side, he has his girl on the side when he's in a relationship with you. Gag. And it just makes her sad because she wants to be the only one in his life. And you know, that that's very reasonable, okay? Um, if you're, if you're gonna cheat, why even be in a relationship? That's just stupid. Why don't you just be your own person, okay? You know, and just not play with people's emotions, play with people's hearts, it's stupid. And you're making this bitch sad, okay? And you're turning her into a bad girl. I've seen it throughout the, I'm watching the lyrics on Apple Music, so I know what she's saying. What I was saying earlier when I was saying Lana's music just makes me feel like I'm floating in a sea somewhere. You know, just free floating. That's the vibe the music gives me. This one made me feel like I was like in the clouds, okay? Once again, with those visualization, just lyrics, and just the way she uses her voice over these songs, it's more of like a poet speaking rather than singing. It is singing, okay? But it's more like poetry, you know? Not everything rhymes, it doesn't have the rhyme schemes that you expect throughout um music it's more of just like she's just pouring her heart out and i love that so fucking much i'm gagged i'm gagged she knows how to make me gag and i'm definitely gagging but the next song is called pretty when you cry <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh my god. Okay, so the storyline is still giving at this point in the album. Once again, she just wants you and only you. It makes her cry, it makes her sad, but she's pretty when she cries, okay? So I feel like sometimes she likes crying just because she's pretty when she cries. Um, not only that, but I feel like this song right here generated the vibe of girls taking pictures um, when they cry. <laughs> or just anybody taking pictures when they cry, you know? And, um, gag, you're not as pretty as Lana Del Rey, I'm just gonna be real. But I'm not making fun of you guys, this culture, you know, the Lana Del Rey culture. Um, I'm trying to understand it, okay? And I, so far I am, I get it, okay? I get the music so far, and it's, it's giving, it's giving. The whole culture itself is giving, but it is sad, you know? Um, and I feel like this, this music is, it's beautiful, but it's sad, okay, at the same time, and I just feel like if you are one of those people, like I said, that are triggered by stuff, you should not be listening to this music because I feel like it could make you just fall back into where you don't want to, but it's good. <laughs> like, I, that's all I can really say is it's fucking good as fuck. But the next song is called Money, Power, Glory. Let's go. Okay, you know, she's not shy to say what the fuck she wants, okay? She's going to use you for all your worth. Period. Okay, period. I love that, okay? Um, when it comes from a woman, okay? Just because it's just like, women have fought so hard through, for centuries, okay? Not even centuries, millenniums, okay? Wait, what is a millennium? Is that a thousand years? I think it is. Um, they've just been fighting for all the time that humans have lived on Earth. Women have had to fight more than the men just to reap less than the men, okay? And it's, it, when powerful women sing about this kind of stuff, it just jerks me real good. Um, she, it's giving me Madonna, okay? I loved Madonna. I already had my Madonna era. Um, so that's what it's just giving me powerful, just, bitch, I'm gonna milk you for everything that you have. Love that. She started saying, I'm a sad, sad girl. It makes me sad. Your, your bonnie's on the side, your money's on the side and shit. And now she's like, bitch, I'm gonna use you for everything that you have. Okay, so she's kind of like a twisted sister. She doesn't know, but... She does at the same time. It's gag. I'm, I'm gagging. Okay, the next song is called Fuck My Way Up To The Top. Gag.
like I was saying with money, power, and glory, she's going to milk you for everything that you have. Fucked her way up to the top. I love that she's honest about it, you know? It might not be true, you know? She's probably just singing, you know? Just having a little girly fun time. But, like, the fact that she is singing about it and she doesn't give a fuck. Powerful. Powerful. I love it so much. You know, because all this time I was thinking maybe she's in love with this person and she doesn't want to let him go. But maybe this person is an high, a higher up. And if she gets on his good side, he'll give her what she wants and what she needs. She doesn't want to let him go. She's gagging. She, she's gagging me. I'm really flustered because she's so mother. And it's just the way that it's coming off. I, once again, I know it's toxic, but it's it's giving me a good. It's giving me a good. OK, <laughs> a good vibe. It's giving good. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Let's keep going. The next song is called Old Money. Oh my god, the vocals. giving me like nostalgic purposes like looking back um and just wishing that you were from a different era and that's also the vibe I get from Lana with a lot of her music is just the first of all the 70s but this was like giving me 50s okay and you know I thought it was just that you know just looking back nostalgic but then it was like it's called all the money and call for me I'll come 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 um, is this a sugar daddy? I think she's speaking about a sugar daddy, which is go off. Once again, that is another thing in this Lana Del Rey culture that I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to figure out. Um, a lot of people say Lana Del Rey stands have a sugar daddies. There's nothing wrong with that, girl. Get that fucking money. And old money is be like some of the best money that you can come across, okay? Like the, when I say those men, those men are rich as fuck. They're rich as fuck. Okay, guy, love that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it so much. Okay, um, do you, girl, go off? But also, I just want to point out that her voice, when she sings, like she really can fill up a space. You can really just feel it. Okay, through just just through the music. I, it's simply beautiful. Okay. Um, I'm gagged. Okay, let's keep going. The next song is called The Other Woman. together now you know she says she is jealous of these other women but that other woman is destined to spend her life alone because she's doing this shit to other men okay but i cannot just help but to go back and just talk about the fucking vocals her vocals are so beautiful you know and you know i don't really hear people ever speaking about her vocals and just how much of a range she has 
It's not that she's like, you know, like Whitney Houston or Mariah Carey or anything, but it's more like, it, it's just a very solid um, sound, and it sounds just so pretty, okay? Like, it really takes you there, and it really, it does what it needs to do, okay? When it comes to having just good vocals. Those are, it's solid. I, I'm obsessed with them. I like vocals like this. Like Rihanna, I love Rihanna's vocals, but there's always that thing with Rihanna that people say she can't sing, why is she a singer? You know, like, you don't have to be, like I said, Whitney Houston or Mariah Carey to be a singer. You don't have to be a vocalist, okay? But Lana is giving me what I need and what I wanted and what I was looking for. It's, it's gagging me. So basically, she's throwing it in this bitch's face you're gonna live alone. You're gonna die alone because you're a fucking slut, okay? A whore, right? Okay. <laughs> Which is, there's nothing wrong with being a slut and a whore, but if you are taking other people's men, if you are the Bonnie in this situation, um, yeah, I mean, let's, let's all dogpile on you, you know? Um, but gag. But let's keep going. The next song is called Black Beauty. Like the sky black. You said if you could have your way Oh my god with the color black okay you know her wedding dress is black leather gag she keeps her lips red okay like cherries in the spring it's very detailed um visualization once again i'm going back to that and i'm gonna keep going back to that because she's really good at writing these songs that just make you your mind go places okay i love it so much and that just makes a song this song in particular just very beautiful and it's just um broad how do i say it? i don't know it's just like i just i feel it and i love it um mother and you know i feel like her color might be black okay she always looks good in black first of all i just want to say this right now lana always looks good to me okay she's always been a bad bitch to me um her shoot that she did with kim wasn't it kim for skims um and then her look at the met gala this year bitch oh my god she knows how to serve a gaggery okay but let's keep going the next song is called guns and roses As in just like a song that was just just beautiful it was just about you know the simple he loved his guns and roses and whether that be actual guns and roses i'm pretty sure there is a band called guns and roses um and either way it's fucking beautiful but i just want to say for an example of this visualization that i say when i talk about in her songs she says, I can feel it coming in the air tonight. See you walking on the blue Pacific. I can see you bathing in the summer light, turning tan, and you look terrific, okay? That's visualization right there, okay? That's good writing. 
it keeps you intrigued in the music. Um, it's a gag. I love good lyrics, okay? And it just goes to show how mesmerized and obsessed she is with this man. I'm so glad that I'm coming off the Beatles and going into another artist that gives me these visualization lyrics, these just good lyrics overall, okay? Um, she hasn't missed once yet. I'm obsessed, okay? And that beat, that beat, that beat, that beat was so fucking mesmerizing. Just brought you in and just kept you going along the whole ride. Mm, very magical. It's mystical. It's mysterious, okay? I'm obsessed with it. You know, Lana Del Rey reminds me of American Horror Story. Just the atmosphere of American Horror Story in a good way. Um, it's a very good written show and she is a very good written character herself in real life. Um, so I guess that's what I mean when I say that. Um, I'm gagged by it. Okay, let's keep going. The next song is called Florida Kilos. <laughs> different for her. So that was a song about cocaine. Can I say that on YouTube? I think I can. Um, but yeah, that was a song about cocaine. I don't do that, um, but I do know people that do it, and you know, I don't think they would think it's like that. Maybe it is for some people, you know. But every time I see people do this substance, it is it always turns into a bad night. Um, very angry. Okay, um, <laughs> very angry, upsetting, um, miserable, kind of, for the person on the other side. But this low-key made me want to do a line myself, you feel me? Like, just, you know, vibe out with the, with the cokes and shit. Um, I'm gagged by it. It was just a fun song. And once again, those visualizing lyrics, this whole song was that, okay? I'm imagining myself in Miami coming down to Florida and just having the time of the night of my life, okay, with this bitch, okay, first of all. But it's just, mm, 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 mm. and it sounded different too. A lot of the, all the songs on this album were really like slow knitted, real good buildups, but this one was just like, hey, yo, hey, yo. which I'm, I'm, I love, I love a good poppy bop song. It's very summery, which is crazy because it's about to be summer. Um, so I will be listening to that during the summer. It's a very party-esque vibe. But let's keep going. The next song is called Is This Happiness? Oh. This is giving ballad. Okay. I want to keep track of God. It's beautiful at the same time. 
Okay, in my opinion, that was a perfect way to end an album. Can we give it up for Lana and my new era so far, bitch? What? Now, before you go, I have a ranking system on my channel. So we're going to get into that. But this song right here was just so, you know, it's very contradicting. Is this happiness knowing that it's not? You feel miserable sitting there with your man in the Hollywood Hills, crushing up your little violet pills. Um, and he's writing a book and you're writing your little songs about cheap thrills. It's beautiful, but it's sad, you know? Like, obviously you're not happy. This isn't happiness, you know? Um, but I love it. Obviously, it's, you know, it's purposely written that way and purposely named that for a reason. It was good. That was a good ending to this album. But let's get into my overall review, my rating of this album, and my top five from this album. Now my overall review really honestly truly um is i have one word for it and it's just toxic okay a toxic love story that's gagged okay because the music itself is so fucking good okay just the sounds and the atmosphere and where it takes you is good it's it it's not good but it's good okay if that makes sense like it's toxic, but it's good, okay? That's all I can really say. But for this to be the first album that I'm coming back into, I'm really excited about where we're gonna go to next with the next few albums. To me, this felt like a low point, okay? Um, a super low point, not a happy place in her life. I love when people can create art out of their, you know, depression, anxiety, whatever, and it sounds like you can feel it in your heart and your spirit and soul and mind. So that makes me, I love it, you know? Um, and for that, with that being said, this to me is an album that I could keep listening to, okay? Gag. It does not give me 2014, 2013, 2015 at all, okay? This just gives me an, a timeless fucking album, um, and I love that. You can really feel her emotions throughout this album. It was sickening. I get my rating from these five categories on an album, vocals, production, consistency, writing, and album cover, okay? Now, let's start off with the vocals. I've been saying it throughout this whole album that her vocals just, they're beautiful to me, and like... They just really put me in a place, you know? I don't, I really don't know how to explain it, but they're really sensual and soft and they just come out really good and really well, especially with the lyrics and shit. Um, so I'm gonna give the vocals on this album a 10, just simply because of where and how I feel when she's singing to me and just how she just fills up a room with her voice. It's beautiful. Okay, the next category is production. The production here is sickening, okay? Um, there's songs where you just don't even know where it's gonna take you, but then it takes you to somewhere where you were unex not expecting to go, very unexpected vibes. I love that a lot. So I'm gonna give the production a 10. It was beautifully, beautifully placed um, with the vocals, okay? She sang like, she was part of the production, okay? And that just made the overall production for me gaggery, okay? It was a very nice album to hear on the ears, okay? Now, with that being said, the next category is consistency. The consistency to me is just how well an album flows into itself, like from song to song and shit. And I'm gonna give this album a nine, just because um, I kind of got a little confused with the story that was going on. Maybe this album didn't have a story, maybe I'm reaching. But to me, I feel like it could have been a little bit, um, just placed a little differently. But the album itself is just, it's very like, the songs do flow well into each other, so it sounds good, like I said, on the ear and it just gives it it definitely has replay value so i wouldn't give it less than a nine 
um, but I'm gagged, okay? So nine. The next category is writing. First of all, there were so many standout lyrics from this album, um, and you know, I I'm pretty sure she writes most, if not all, of her own songs. You know, she was even talking about it in certain songs that she was crushing up pills and writing her cheap thrilled songs gag so i really don't have there was no lyrics that made me like question besides um he hit me and it felt like a kiss um but it's just her way of expression you know and i i, I love that it was giving me poetry it was giving me good vibes um it was beautiful and like i said the visualization is all within the lyrics and the production itself and the vocals so they all just go together um and so i'm gonna give that a 10 okay because i already gave the vocals and the production a 10 i might as well give the fucking lyrics a 10 she was gagging me okay but the last category is the album cover okay this album cover to me her early album covers were such a fucking gag it's just a simple black and white beautiful album cover i'm pretty sure those are um I thought those are flower bushes in the back, but I don't think they are. She's standing next to this old looking car. You can see her bra through her shirt, so it's just giving that I'm a little bad bitch vibe, you know? But it's still beautiful, and like her face, that face, girl, it's, it's just, she's stunning, okay? She's always gonna be stunning to me. And the fact that it's black and white, it just captures what this album feels like the atmosphere that this album gives you so correlating to the album i'm gonna give this album cover a 10 because it's just so it's so good i love it i love it a lot so if you take each category that i just named and divide it by five you get a total score of 9.8 out of 10 which is a very very solid album this album has replay value it's beautiful it's very artistry artistic okay i love it a lot um and i really don't have anything bad to say about this album other than that if you are that kind of person that gets triggered through music and stuff because that's that's a thing people do get triggered with lyrics and music and shit i do suggest not listening to it if it really triggers you that much because i feel it okay i'm not really i don't really i do get triggered by music but like a lot of the shit that she was talking about i don't really relate to i never done drugs i never did anything like that um but it's still beautiful and it's still a great listen so yeah now my top five from lana del rey's ultra violence is ultra violence shade of shades of cool brooklyn baby pretty when you cry guns and roses i was gonna add cruel world in there somewhere but you know the other songs just give it to me okay these were the five songs that stood out to me i would love to know the five songs that stood out to you let me know in the comments below and let me know if you have anything to add to this or any thoughts that you have on my thoughts if i was wrong about anything let a bitch know okay um if you have any lore to add to this i love musical lore okay like, who was she talking about? Who was the Bonnie? Who was the Clyde? Who was she talking about? Love that a lot. Um, but I guess that's it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Next week, we will be going to Honeymoon. <sighs> so excited about that. This is going to be fun, okay? This next couple weeks are going to be fun. And I'm excited to where it's going to take us. But I guess that's it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And bye, motherfuckers. <laughs>